We are here, we are here, we are here. And it's an amazing day. Hey everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Let's pick up for business. Hey guys, we are marking up AUDJPY. We do have the duet screens up. Left side, we have the monthly time frame. The right side, we do have the weekly time frame. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what's going on in the market. See if we can find some type of entry. So where price action's at, if price action, when price action, if the market goes up, how far would it go up? Price action goes down, how far the market will go down? And then from there, we draw a midpoint. So let's read the market, see what's going on and what direction the market may go in. So what we see is here, is there's a formation. I'll draw it out. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, double bottom. So we know after the double bottom, most of the time the market does what? Retest. The market pushed up once, coming back down for that retest. <clears throat> Let's head over to the weekly time frame. See if we see anything. So in the weekly time frame, we do see that double bottom. So it starts here. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Then the retest happened. Fourth leg, so formation. Market pushed up, came back down for that retest. That's once. Market pushed up again. Come back down two, market pushed up again, came back down for that three test three. So this is where the market capped itself off at. So the market's gonna sell down. We don't know how far it's gonna go down. There may be a few pushes, but so far on a double top, we do see one big push after this double top, maybe a triple top in here too. I see about three pushes there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the daily time frame. And let's take a look at see if we see anything. Okay, so where market had reached that high at near price action. So we got about three pushes to the top. One, two, And three. And draw a resistance line right there. Think about the market going up, can't break, came back down once, came back second time, wasn't there a break, came back down, push up a final third time, market came back down. And we already know what happens after we see a triple top, the market retest. So the retest happened in this area here. And the market came back to retest, wasn't able to shoot up to this area here of highs. So the market pushed back down. So one, came back to retest. Two, came back to retest. Three. So about, let me see. One, two. About two pushes down to the bottom. So it may be another push. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> so right now we don't know what the market's gonna do. And we don't see a pattern. So right now the market's still selling down. <clears throat> There's something going on in this area here. Looks like a huge consolidation. That's why we see this cluster. So it could be something forming. If not, the market could be selling out further. Let's head down a time frame and see if we see any patterns. Okay, so the market may be reversing to go back up, but right now the market is in a consolidation <clears throat> on an hour time frame. After the market did that second push, when it came to this low here for that second push, consolidated sideways, <clears throat> but we can clearly see it's at an incline. So if the market doesn't break <clears throat> this resistance line I just created, that means it's coming down. We can see a few attempts so there's a double top here, which pushed the market down. 
market restarted and it pushed back up. So you got one push, market came back down. You got a second push, market coming back down. It looked like it's at the retest. So the either after this area, the market either going to um, buy or sell. But we can see that we are in an incline of some type of wedge pattern. So we know when we in that wedge pattern. <clears throat> we don't. We do know when we in that wedge pattern that the market's going to bounce up and down in here, which is doing it currently right now, and it's either going to fully break out to the upside or break down to the downside. So if you guys are looking for some type of entry, you guys wait in this area here, you guys will be able to see a trade on a one hour time frame. In the earlier time frames, we'll have to wait until the market finish breaking this level here. Now, in this area here, on this weekly time frame, if this fast candle start breaking this long wick, I mean the market's going down. So far, the market can stop in this area here and go back up if it breaks out its consolidation to the upside. So whatever happens on this hour time frame, if it breaks up, it goes to new levels. If it breaks down, it goes down to new levels. We we'll definitely be able to see on the weekly time frame as well. Okay, so I just gave you guys what's going on. We are in a wedge pattern. So to figure out what happens at the wedge pattern and other patterns, we're gonna head over to the Forex pattern cheat sheet. We're gonna review the images. There's actually a wedge pattern right here at an incline. So that's what we clearly see. Mark is at a low. It puts itself up to this high of this resistance. Wasn't able to break. But it came up once, twice, three times. Got that retest. And it's down. And that's what's something we've seen. But this area of this um, <clears throat> push up wasn't as high. It was actually at the bottom here. And then the two areas of this peaks. We did see this. And we at the retest now. So <clears throat> currently from this picture here. It's saying that <clears throat> it's the bearish rising wedge. So, if it's a bearish rising wedge, the market's going to push. Was it ink? It's going to push up to resistance. Can't break twice, three times. At times, that fourth time hit, which is a retest, the market's going to sell. So, I mean, we should be looking for a sell in that pair we just looked at at AUD JPY. If the market doesn't sell down, then you know it's going up. So, that's the key to what's going on in our time frame for AUD JPY. We're looking for a sell because we just found on a bearish rising wedge. Also, guys, it's very important to understand is a breakout retest strategy. What is a breakout retest strategy? Breakout retest strategy is when a market is when a market is at a high, it's working its way down a low. Once the market breaks our support line, we do not take entry right away at this area. We wait for the market to break down. It's going to do what it do. As we can see, it's consolidating. Market pushed back up to the support turned resistance now it puts back up to the resistance area and we can see once it touches here that's when we look for entry in this area here we take it for the sell okay so always wait for the market to break the support once it breaks it's going to come back and return once it returns we're looking for the market to break down for that sell if it doesn't in this area the market could, could go back up we clearly see that the market came down for the sell Hey everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. AUD, JPY.